This is a Peugeot 206. It's got a 1.1 petrol engine in it. It's about eight years old. And the job today is to change the cam belt, uh, give it a general service, and also look for a oil leak, which we suspect is coming from the head gasket, which is a uh, known fault with these cars. Um, this is coming to you uh, courtesy of miniracing.com. Uh, we do corporate entertainment and private events using Skeletric Star Racing. Okay, simple stuff first. Uh, we just need to take off the uh, wheel, which is next to the camshaft end of the engine. Uh, to give because this gives access to the uh, all the kit. This shows the oil is covering most of the engine. We don't really know where the leak is coming from. Point to the drips. But look, you can see there's pretty much oil all over everything. You wipe that up there. There are drips, aren't there? Yeah, because that's on the front of the engine. That's significant. Right. Okay, that's good. Right, here comes a clip out now broken. <laughs> that one broke, but uh, there's plenty of them. Very cool. uh, for some reason they've changed the type of connector. Just in this one spot it is a star um, fitting. Looking something like that. Right, next job is to remove the uh, one terminal from the battery so we don't have any problems. So the clamp undoes and off it comes. Uh, tensioner device or the auxiliary belt tensioner. Uh, we took it out of the car although we don't need to. We took these four screws off uh, because we didn't understand how this works and it is in fact very simple. This 27 millimeter hex drive sort of changes the tension of the belt and it's clamped in position by this star drive. If you get a spanner on there once it's tightened the, the adjuster is in position. So you don't need to remove it but what you do need is the star um, drive, which I can't seem to find, to undo that and then you can and then you can drive it up and down. It's got gears on the other side, isn't it? So we're gonna put that back in the car. Yeah the gears, can you see the gears underneath? Don't need to remove it, but that's how the adjuster work. Alright, what we're gonna do now is to remove this bracket here, uh, which is held by three bolts, which finally releases the ribbed belt. From, uh, from the assembly. So recording. Next thing we've got to do is remove the uh, fly, well this, uh, this pulley here and also the timing belt cover which is just behind that both on the top and the bottom. Okay here we have the uh, pulley actually removed which allows us to get access to the screws which are here, here and here to actually remove the plastic cover of the timing belt. Okay so now what we're doing is undoing the top timing belt cover. It's a plastic cover and it's uh, got sort of 10 millimeter AF um, bolts, two at the top holding it. Okay, so the bolts are loose, now we'll take off the plastic cover. I yeah, lower down here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, bottom um, cam belt cover. It's been unscrewed, and we're just going to take it off there. Right, that was good. This shows where the oil has been leaking, so we can tell because there's a lot of oil here. The, 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 the oil has, the leak has come from higher up, but if you keep following it, and following it, you eventually see that that is the leak, it's the gasket. It's crucial that none of these parts turn because they're all connected to the camshaft and such. So we put this little, this is a locking pin, just a little, little bolt of something that goes in this hole. Right, because we're doing the head gasket now, we've got to remove, uh, move this pipe here. So uh, basically this is the uh, uh, electricity supply to the plugs. Uh, we, un we undid a couple of screws here and unplugged it and that pulls off. And now we're taking off this, uh, this manifold which is the fuel injector uh, manifold. Uh, we can see a number of screws, uh, we can undo those. 
least with a vid we can see what happens. A few M10 nuts that have got to be come off, got to be undone to uh, get this uh, fuel injector manifold away from the engine or the cylinder head to be more specific. And the reason we're doing this is uh, because of this cylinder head gasket which is leaking oil. Is uh, got to get all this off. William's panicking though, he thinks his car's never going to go again, but I'm <laughs> I think. It. Now, this is to lock the crankshaft in position. It's not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to put a pin somewhere in the flywheel side of it, but I can't find that. So I've just taken a piece of hardboard and screwed the uh, from the pulley, the crankshaft pulley, to convenient screw spot. Just a method of making sure the crankshaft doesn't move when I take the cam belt off. Okay, so we're taking out the engine management unit and these clips are held like that and out comes this one. It's got wires that look like that. The longer one goes to the top, doesn't it? It is a longer the loom. And uh, if we take out this I think they probably only go in one way anyway, but we, we definitely, yeah, so that's got an orangey thing, that's the centre one, looks like the centre one, and then we got this, so that one distinguishes itself, well, you can't get those muddled up, that's all looking good. Cool, I'll open another plug here. Right, so we've taken out the coolant bottle, the header tank, which is here, uh, which required um, this hose here. There's a clip which is still on the hose. This is the, the band that, that held it in position. We're working towards this aluminium casting, which has various screws, um, which I believe this is to be a, a major engine mount, um, so we're going to have to uh, support the engine before we undo that. Is there a nut underneath going loose? It's, no, it's as if it's like nylon or some shit. Oh, it's a bit of a uh, bit of rust in there. Unremo we're removing the um, side engine mount. What we've done though is we've actually chocked the engine underneath. Uh, I'll just show you that. There it is. The trolley jack, just taking the weight of the engine so it doesn't move when the side mount is off. What we've done now is removed the side engine mount, which is this big aluminium casting, and it was held on this piece here and these, these bolts. So the engine is chocked, it goes in there, something like that. The engine is supported by axle stands so it won't sink on that side. And we have a clear view of uh, the uh, timing gear, the timing belt, and uh, the tensioner, which is here. So, uh, one of the things we're going to do now is to uh, loosen off the tensioner and we can take the uh, timing belt off. Obviously, we don't have to do this just for the timing belt. The reason we're doing this is to get to the head, which has got an oil leak, which is just there due to the head gasket. Excellent. Getting the fuel injector assembly off. There is a couple of connectors to get here and here off. What's pulling it there? Okay, we've pulled the uh, fuel injectors. These are the fuel injectors along here. And uh, they're really just a tight fit into the uh, cylinder head. This is the, the inlet air coming in through here. Um, for some reason we undid the clips which held these fuel injectors to the manifold. But in practice, we didn't need to do it. So we're going to put those back on again. But this assembly, it's getting close to coming out. Okay. Right, so uh, this is where we are. Uh, as you can see, the radiator's been removed. Uh, there was two brackets, which have been here and here. Very easy to move the radiator. Also, the exhaust manifold has been unscrewed here and here. The catalytic converter, which is just here, has just sunk down a bit. I think that when we remove the head gasket, 
head, head bolts, the whole assembly, the exhaust manifold, etc., will all come up. Um, now, in the Haynes manual, it says undo the power steering pump. Don't really see why at the moment, but uh, we'll give it a go anyway. All right, so uh, the stage we're at now is uh, the rocker box cover is off and we've removed the 10 uh, cylinder head bolts. Uh, we actually followed the right sequence of um, undoing it, which uh, we found in Haynes' manual. So uh, we've lifted the um, rocker assembly off from the cylinder head and now we see the camshaft and the valves just uh, in position. Alright, so the cylinder head now is removed um, and uh, uh, we've, we had to move the power steering pump which is positioned up there. Just got it out of the way because it was a bit awkward. Um, and the cylinder block is sitting here. What we're going to do is drain the oil off it and um, then start to look at the cylinder head gasket to see uh, that we've got the right one and uh, see what the problem is. Okay, so this is obviously the cylinder head. What we've done is we've cleaned off the old gasket. Um, the, the oil gallery um, was, uh, was coming up here and uh, get the new gasket. You can see that this is the seal on the new gasket that will go onto this fan. Just loosely. So we've got the new gasket in and we put the cylinder head back on and the rocker assembly and we're just finger tightening the the bolts down and uh, the next stage is going to be um, talking them down to their first setting but finger tightening them now. We've talked up the uh, rock of the the head bolts. It's a two stage we set the torque wrench to 20 newton meters and uh, went through them all in the right sequences that one that one that one and I can't remember the rest and then we've talked them by angle put the white dot at the top and um, we've then talked them around 180 degrees it says in the book 240 which is another 60 but I think Frankly, we may have over them with a torque wrench, so they really feel very tight. We're going to risk, risk it as it is, I think. So there it is. Uh, we won't show you how everything goes back together. It's very much a reverse of uh, putting it or taking it apart. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and find that useful. As I say, it's uh, from miniracing.com, Skeletrix Entertainment uh, for corporate events, private parties, and also professional equipment sales to other entertainment companies. Um, good luck, take it easy, and I uh, hope your motoring goes well.